In this video, we'll be discussing about the diabetes mellitus. It's a group of metabolic disorders or it can be the autoimmune disease where we have the higher blood glucose levels. We are actually probably moving glucose. We know glucose in the blood is imported to cells for the generation of ATPs. Here in this diagram, we can see we have the blood vessel and on the right we have the muscle cell. In the blood, we have the glucose molecules and these glucose molecules are transported to cells in order to derive energy from it. But when we have diabetes mellitus, this transport is halted and that way glucose remains in the blood and accumulates and we get the hyperglycemia. And to overcome this problem, we have the insulin and glycogon proteins or hormones. Both of these hormones are secreted from islets of Langerhans that are pancreatic cells like insulin is secreted by beta cells of islet and uh, glucagon is secreted from alpha cells. So when we have high levels of blood glucose, the insulin is secreted by beta cells which lowers blood glucose levels by transporting glucose molecules to cells. And, and on the other hand when we have lower levels of blood glucose, that time alpha cells secrete glucagon that increases the blood glucose levels. So for diabetes, we have to discuss this insulin molecule since it's concerned with lowering the blood glucose levels. Now let's see how insulin lowers the blood glucose and how diabetes affects the glucose transport. In this diagram, we have the insulin molecules and we also have the muscle cell with the insulin receptors as shown in the diagram. And on the right, we have the blood vessel having glucose in it. So first of all, insulin binds with the insulin receptors and causes activation of insulin receptors which ultimately activates the AKT pathway. And this AKT protein acts on GLUT4 vesicle and mediates fusion of vesicles with the cell membrane as shown in the animation. And this vesicle fusion inserts the GLUT4 in the membrane which is the glucose transporter. Then glucose from blood is transported into the cell through glucose transporter channels, that's GLUT4, which lowers the blood glucose levels. Now when we have beta cell disruption, that leads to loss of insulin. And this diabetes is termed as type 1 diabetes and is associated with autoimmune diseases. And on the other hand, when we have peripheral insulin resistance, that leads to beta cell dysfunction and this diabetes is termed as type 2 diabetes. So on both the cases, glucose movement is halted. But in type 1 diabetes, we get less or no production of insulin. Whereas in type 2 diabetes, we get the insulin production, but the insulin receptors do not respond to insulin molecules, thus rendering the cell resistant to insulin molecules. The type 1 and type 2 diabetes will be discussed in the upcoming videos. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.